always fun to collaborate with other aero modelers and uh, YouTubers on, on this channel and uh, this is no exception. This is Nick from uh, lo my local model flying club who's particularly into 3D printing. Aren't you Nick? I remember yep. trying to chase you around with one of my models when you were flying one of your 3D printed um, jobs and it was it was going way too fast and I couldn't keep up so I thought I really need to try something like that. So Nick has 3D printed this. This is the Interceptor version 2. It is indeed, yeah, from Stamp Double. And the files are free files and you can get them off of Fingerverse. Um, it's got a selection of different bits and pieces as well, accessories to go in. Uh, we've gone with the standard twin tail. Um, and then obviously the standard skid on the bottom. Um, and we've also gone with the straight wing tips as well for this model. Um, now, I find it amazing that this guy, he's based in Melbourne, Australia, and he's just released the iterations of this for, for free. Yep. So if this works well, I'm going to have to send him a few bucks to say thank you. <laughs> but uh, it's really been thought out quite well. For We're going to fly it line of sight today, but the, if it's successful, then we'll put FPV gear in it and INAV and everything. But some design features of this, it's, it's a twin. Yep, twin motor. Um, so servos are on the top which obviously means well our linkages are on the top, which means they're out of the way from the, yep. from the ground when we come into land. Then on the base as well, what I really liked actually with the design is, so the tips are actually you who poured on, which means that we have them for being able to replace them yep. if, if and when there's an incident. But also the wings are bolted. Um, so these just use heat set brass inserts um, and they're just clamping directly onto the carbon rod. Um, and they're really quite rigid. strong. Yeah. So I don't think they're going anywhere. Same with the motor mounts as well, they're both screwed in the front as well, which means we've got full access to change those. Um, another really nice design feature actually that I liked about it, obviously canopy slides forward, um, and then we've got all of our gear at the back. But in here as well, this piece also slides forward. So now we've got really easy access to get in. A lot of times when you do these models, all the stuff's but out the back and, and you, difficult you can't to get, get to it, at the yeah. field. Especially with a wing. Now all of the electronics we've put in here, the motors, the speed controllers, the, the servos, even the battery are from Formax, uh, our local uh, hobby model shop. Uh, George, great guy to deal with, so we went and picked that gear up. And I'm also running uh, an, uh, a Radio Master ELRS ER6 receiver with their new GPS module so we can actually see how fast it goes and we did a static power test a minute ago and it really does pull quite good on 4S. It's pulling it? quite well yes so whether or not 4S will be well it should be fine right the, the ones that stunt double runs are normally 6S and he runs a 1500 um, so we're going to run a 4S 2200 so giving us about the same weight um, so yeah it'll be interesting to see what speed we get out of it. it exactly and now the, the benefit of 3D printing the thing is, if we break any part of this, we can, like a, a wing or something, then Nick can just 3D print an, another one and uh, we'll be ready to go in a, in a few days. But sometimes with ready-to-fly models, plug-and-play models, it's hard to get spare parts. But this is the beauty of 3D printing. You can, yeah. you can just print another part. And, and especially, like I say, with this design, the way he's designed it, you know, so many of the parts are removable that actually, you know, I mean... If not you, hard glued together. You no. Just, so if we damage the fuselage, we're reprinting a fuselage. If we damage a tip, we're just reprinting a tip. If we damage a wing section, we just reprint it. If we damage the entire thing, well, then it's a, it's a complete rebuild. But, yeah. <laughs> but it can be rebuilt, right? And, and the PLA is the, the PLA reel that you're using, not, yeah. too, not too expensive. How much would you... Th two questions then. How much would it cost for all of that reel? Yep. Is it pennies? Um, or pounds? No, so you're probably pounds. You're probably talking... It's just short of a reel. Um, so we're just, just short of our royal wheel. Yeah, yeah, and this is printed PLA plus. Um, so PLA plus is a little bit dearer, but it's a bit stronger. Um, so you get a bit more toughness to the actual material itself. Um, it does make it a little brittle, but it's overall it's not too bad. Um, but a reel's what, 13, 14 pounds, yeah. something like so that. So a lot less than what so, you pay for a, yeah. a model. And total print time? Total print time for this one, it took me about two weeks doing it during the day. Um, so I'd estimate it's probably about an 80 to 90 hour print, right. something like that. But then you print yeah, apart, you just let it going. Yeah, I do it while I work from home. Yeah. So it just sits there and then there just prints go. away. All right. So, nice and easy. So let's uh, throw it in the air. I'm going to film. You're going to do the main flight. Your dad's going to, Adrian's going to... Yeah, I'd rather that was the other way around and dad was maiden in and I was chucking. But oh, there no, we no. go. Got to be brave. <laughs> Got to be brave. All right, here we go. 
Yeah. Yeah. Superb. You might as well have all the power you can get, really. And climb, climb, climb. That's it, just climb. Good luck, Nick. Just be Thank prepared you. for a little bit, giving a bit more up, Nick. Because that looks, yeah. Happy? Yeah, I think so. How's that position, Dom, all right? Good. Okay, when you're ready. You ready? I'm going to go, shall I ease in the throttle or on full yeah, power? Ease in the throttle to full power and then I'll launch. <laughs> Nearly a touch and go. Can you do a low slow? And relatively close. Yep. <laughs> Success! Yes. So, yeah, so overall's good. Any trimming to do during the flight? Yeah, quite a lot of up. Um, and then about halfway through the flight, it felt really sluggish. Um, and then I remembered I had quite a lot of expo in, so I had a secondary expo setting, so I oh. switched to that. And then it was much better after that. Not so um, much expo. But yeah, not so much expo, but yeah, needed quite a lot of up. We ended up with 32 clicks of up. All right. So quite Brilliant. A... Interceptor version 2 from Stunt Double. Is that right? Yes, that's it. Yep, yeah, it's um, 
Yeah, and I'm Fingerverse if you want to print your own. Yeah, yeah, so. Easy, easily done. And yeah. uh, all the gear from Formax. So thanks to George for the recommendation on that. Thanks, George. And thanks, Nick. Thanks for Nick. And uh, so we'll move to the next stage. Um, we'll do some proper speed testing next time. And uh, we'll look to put some FPV gear in it. I think it'll be good on FPV. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. All right, be back soon. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Right.